Hello everyone, and welcome to the Blackjack Betting Strategy Guide. So the first thing you're going to do is, well, just watch this video actually, and press pause and play and really take your time going through it because I'm going through a lot of information right now. Okay, so the first thing you want to make sure of, of course, which we went over in our presentation, is that you want to be at a 3-2 to two payout table. That means the Blackjack pays 3-2 to two when you win. A lot of the casinos on the strip, especially in Vegas, only pay five to six, and that reduces your odds significantly. We don't want that. So play the three to two table. Secondly, remember, single deck is your best bet. Next best is two decks, and the worst odds are in your multi-shoe decks. That can be six or even eight sh uh, decks in a shoe. And again, if you're in Vegas, it's gonna be mostly off strip at the El Cortez, which I don't recommend, or the Four Queens, which is slightly better. If you go to Reno, you can find pretty good odds everywhere. So what we have here is we have our betting strategy guide. And this may look complicated at first, but actually it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. It'll take you 10 or 15 minutes to figure it out. I have a bunch of chips here that I'm gonna work with. And just so you know the denominations, the whites represent $1, the reds represent $10, and the greens represent $25. Okay, so when you sit down at the table, we're going we're gonna to consider our minimum bet $10. So that's where we're starting from here. So we always start at $10, okay, right at the top. If we go on a winning streak, we go down the left side here, 10 and 15, and we actually rotate between those. And I'll show you how that's done in a second. If you go and you start losing at any point in this, in this side, you go right to 22, 22 being your bet. If you continue losing, you go all the way down this column from 22 to 44 to 96. So let's, let's actually show how that works. Okay, so let's say the first bet is 10. I bet 10 and I win. So now I'm going to here and guess what? I bet 10 again. I bet 10, I win. And guess what? Now I go up to 15. There's my 15 bet. I win. I go to 10. And I continue going 10 and 15 over and over again as long as I continue winning, which is great. However, sometimes you do lose. Um, and when you lose, you're going to go right over to $22 for your next bet. So at any point, whether it's a 10 or a 15, when you lose, you go right to the 22. Okay? So here's my 22, two reds, two whites. And let's just say that I win, okay? I'm gonna go right back up to the start again, okay? So at any point on the losing streak, when you do win, you go right back to 10. But if I bet the 22 and I lose, guess what? Now I gotta bet 44. And my 44 bet is right here, four reds, four whites for 44. Again, if I win, back to 10 to the start. If I lose, uh-oh, I got the 96 bet now. That's my fourth bet in a row. Uh, for If I've lost three in a row, you'll be at 96. That would be three greens, two reds, and a white. If you bet this, hopefully you win, right? Because it's pretty rare that you're gonna lose four times in a row. Uh, and when you do win, of course you go right back up to 10, and you bet 10. And if you win, right, we're at 10 again. If I win again, I'm at 15. I'm back to 10 and 15. Okay. But if I get to 10 and I lose, right, now I'm going to bet 22. If I win, back up to 10 again. If I lose that 10, I bet 22. And let's say I won. Now I bet 10 again. And let's say I win. I bet 10 a second time. And then I'll bet 15, but then I lose on the 15, so what happens? Go to 22. So I bet the 22, and I lose that too, right? So remember, 44. So we go to 44, we bet that, but we win. More often than not, you're gonna win. You're not gonna get four losses in a row, so I win. Great, and I'm back up here to 10. Okay, 
So you kind of, I hope you kind of get the, the understanding, you know, watch this a few times and you really need to memorize what the bets are. If you're at a $5 minimum table, then all these are going to be divided by two. And if you play $25 tables, then multiply this by two and a half. If you're a high roller and you play at $100 minimum tables, like me, then go 10 times that much. That's how you win big. You can also lose big, but most of the time you're going to win big. So uh, let's just say now this is all well and good. And most of the time, what I want you to do is I, I want you to have some discipline in your game. If you go on forever, you know, you're bound to make mistakes. You're bound to get tired. And what you need to do is you need to have a certain amount of earnings to where you get up and leave the table. You have to be able to do that. You have to have that discipline. So what I recommend for you is if you're at a $10 table and you win $200, so you're up 200, stop. Your session's over. You're a winner. Get up, go have a drink, like I do. <sighs> go to the bathroom, go have some food. Um, you know, try not to get hassled by the hookers in Vegas or Reno and relax. Go back later and play some more if you want. If, you, if you're on the losing streak, which is going to happen sometimes, uh, I would stop right at around $250 to $260. When you hit that amount down, you need to get up because that dealer's got your number. And you just need to leave, relax, go have a drink, go eat some food, and come back later if you want. Okay. Now, finally, you're probably wondering, what if you, f you lose on the 96? Well... You have an option. You can go one more level, okay? To and I recommend about 192 here. So you can go, you can go one more level down. Or if you uh, don't, if you want to minimize your losses, then what you want to do is you want to hit that 196, and then we go into what's called a current loss balance scenario, CLB for short. So if you've lost all the way to 96, okay, most of the time it's going to be 10 plus 22 plus 44, plus 96. That's your current loss balance, or CLB, which is a total of 172, okay? So if you have lost now four in a row, what I want you to do, you're on a, you're on a losing streak, okay? So to minimize the streak, you're gonna bet the minimum, okay? You're gonna just bet 10, and you might lose, you might lose, and you might lose, but at some point you're gonna win. You're gonna win that bet. It might be five, six in a row you might lose, okay? So then you, you win one, you add up your total losses, okay? To here, it's, one, it's 172, and what we, what we recommend is a 40% current loss balance ratio. So when you win that first $10 bet, the very next bet, you're gonna bet 40% of your current loss balance, okay? So at the 192 level, your current loss balance is approximately 69. Pretty good number. So you're gonna take 69 chips, put it in the middle, and win that one. Using our strategy, you can actually lose two current loss balance bets and still claw your way back to being a winner. And we've modeled that in our spreadsheet. If you do lose three current loss balance bets in a row, you know, uh, that might be the end of your session. So what you do is at that, at that level, boom, you bet that 69 and hopefully you win that bet because you've lost so many in a row. It's now your time to win. You can't lose forever. You come back and then you go through this progression, clawing your way back up again. So that is, that is the, uh, the, the betting strategy kind of in a nutshell. Uh, I encourage you to watch this video a few different times and uh, let me know how you feel about it. You know, send some comments to me in the comment section of the video page and let me know and let me know how this is working for you. Thank you.